Okay, finally, Ubuntu on Android. That's something really interesting one. I've tried this Ubuntu OS on a Redmi Note 9 Pro, which is Cortana. It's available for some of the devices. I'll provide the inst instructions and required files how you can install this thing. Of course, it's not installation video. I will try to make installation video. If you want installation video, make sure to comment in the comment box. I will try to make, but this is what I have installed right now. Ubuntu experience on Android device is something really interesting. And this looks quite, quite interesting. It's not good for daily use, of course. It is not recommended if this is your primary device. I'm just talking about Redmi Note 9 Pro. Maybe it's almost same for other devices also. But yes, what I have tried on Redmi Note 9 Pro, it's not good at all. It's good. It's quite good if you want to experience something new, something interesting, or just want to new take a new look on your device, then this might be a good choice. But it's not good. If this is your primary device, I will not recommend you installing this. Let's just talk about some other things. For example, the settings. This is settings UI, and this is just not landscape. I just have enabled landscape landscape mode, which is working quite good. The stats and everything else is good. Of course, it has some bugs. It has some major bugs for you. The things which are working and the things which are not working. Every detail is already available. The link for that website is in the description. As always, all the credits goes to the developers who made it possible. One thing keep in mind, you will not be able to install it from your device, which means recovery or something. You need PC for that. So if you have PC, Windows PC, Linux or whatever you have, then you will be able to install this. As you can see, SD card is also not detecting. I have SD card. It's not working for me, including that some other things like even the flashlight was not working for me. Some other things are not there. Gallery, of course, as SD card is not working. So yes, no albums here from my SD card. Nothing data, no data is there. Like that, you have the open store, which is kind of app store, which is kind of play store, which you get in Android. Almost same kind of things available here for you. I don't have proper internet connection by the way wi-fi is there and wi-fi is working good i am actually outside my house that's why the wi-fi is not there but wi-fi is actually working fine the multitasking seems to be quite smooth i was not expecting that much smoothness unfortunately but yes it's good it's quite smooth actually but depends upon if you want to use it as a daily driver or not it is not recommended by the way the browser is morph browser which you get pre-installed it's actually ubuntu it's a ubuntu ports installer so you need ubuntu installer to install this thing on a device and make sure you are on android 10 firmware and also it has very interesting things the default wallpaper was same like ubuntu i have changed this the things some things are quite good some wallpapers are included notification panel and you can see there's no buttons nothing else if you were able to see i was using the the things the rotation is actually possible up to 360 degree that's quite good you can use whatever you want to use you can use your device as a landscape mode and you can use the opposite side the front side whatever you want to use some things are there if you want to install this build and if you're having any issues while installation make sure to comment below i will try to make the installation video but this is all this was very simple thing about this ubuntu ports goodbye Like I'm floating through the air